here's how I create a new video in Final Cut as a pro or a beginner. I'll show you how to properly set up your video and four pro moves to add your clips. Next, I'll reveal the secrets of the mysterious magnetic timeline, and I'll follow up with some tips on how to spice up your videos with effects and audio. Be sure to watch to the end when I show you how to share your new video with the world. Okay, in Final Cut Pro, click on this button in the upper left corner to show or hide the library sidebar. This is where our libraries are stored, and libraries contain all of our projects, our videos, our clips, our titles, everything. And so, in order to create a new video, you have to have a library. You can select a library or create a new one. Let's go to File, New, and then select Library. We'll give our library a name, and we'll select where to save it, and then click Save. You'll see in the library you have Smart Collections and what's called an event. Events are a great way to organize your videos. I usually like to do an event for a certain type of video. So for example, I have this library here called Tutorials, and if I open that up, you'll see I have an event called Tutorials. And then inside here, I have all of my clips, and then I have my different tutorial video projects. Let's go back to our new library we just created. I can go up to File, select New, and then select Project, or even faster, I can press Command N to create a new project. It brings up the new project window. Let's give it a name, we'll call it new video, and we'll select the event we want to store it in. This default event is fine in our new library. I can also save it in a different event and library if I want. I can adjust the starting time code, but we'll leave it at zero, and then I can select the format. I'm going to do a regular widescreen video, and we'll do 1080p, but I can select other things like 4K and vertical video if I want. From here, I can change the resolution and the frame rate of my project. I can also use automatic settings. If I click that, Final Cut Pro will set up the project to use the same settings as the first video clip I put in my project. Once I've got my project ready, I'll just click OK. And now you'll see over here in our browser, the browser area, we have a new video project. And it's also opened up the new video project right here. And then below that, we have the timeline. This is where we're going to build and add our video clips and pictures and titles. Over here is the browser. This is where we'll organize all of our video clips, images, things like that. This is called the viewer. And this is where you'll see what your video looks like. Over here is called the inspector. If you don't see it, you can open and close it with this button right here. And this allows us to make changes to our videos and our pictures. Down here, we have the effects browser. This is where we can find and add effects to our clips. And then this is the transitions browser where we add transitions to our project. If you click on this button up here in the upper left corner, that takes us to the titles browser. This is where we can find and add titles to our project. Now we need to add some videos. So let's import some videos. I'll press command I and it brings up the media import window. From here, I can find my video files. So I'll go here to Dylan, and then I know I have some here in downloads, and we'll select this one. This is a video clip of a snowboarder. And then I can select where I want to import it. So I want to bring it into this existing event, yep. And I'll copy it to the library, and I can also add keywords to it, or I can do some advanced techniques like analyze video and audio and transcode. But this looks good, so I'll just click import selected, and now you'll see that video clip in my browser. You'll see I've added a few other clips to my browser. I'll click and drag and drop the first clip into my timeline like so. Then I can select the next one. Instead of dragging and dropping it, I'll press E to quickly add it to the end of my timeline. I can also move my playhead to where I want to attach a video clip and then select the video clip and press Q to attach it. And now that clip is attached to this one. I can also put my playhead where I want to insert a video clip, then select it and then press W to insert it. You'll notice that it split the clip in two and then inserted this snowboard clip in between them. I can also overwrite parts in my video. I'll put my playhead where I want to overwrite. I'll select my clip in the browser, but this time I'm going to click where I want it to start and then drag it to the right and where I want it to end. So I just want about one second of video. And now I'll press D and you'll see that it overwrote the footage in here replacing it with the snowboard footage. You can also use these buttons right down here to attach, insert, add to the end, or overwrite your video clip. Now that I have my clips in my timeline, let's start to build them. So I have three clips in here, and I actually want this clip on the end to be at the beginning. So I'll click and drag on it to the left, and you'll notice that all the other video clips shift to get out of the way, and I'll drop it right there. It moved them over, and that's because it uses the magnetic timeline. Final Cut will automatically adjust where things are to make room for the edits and change you make. It's also really too long. So I'll click and drag on the end of the video clip and I'll make it shorter. And you'll notice that the magnetic timeline automatically moves the other two clips so that we don't mess up any timing. I can also move a clip up out of the timeline. So I'll click and drag up and you'll see that it's connected 
to this main clip in the timeline. I'm going to make this main clip a little bit shorter. I'll click and drag on the end of it. And then I'll press T to bring up the trim tool. And now I can click in there and I can move it from left to right to change the start and end frame. I'll press A to go back to my select tool. And then I'll click and drag this clip down into the timeline. All right, let's take a look at our video now. We got him running through the forest. Is he a bad guy trying to evade the authorities or is he a good guy going to save someone? Let's find out. Time out. Are you pumped to make a new video in Final Cut? Am I doing a good job? Am I helping you? If so, will you please give this video a thumbs up? I really appreciate it. In just a second, I'm gonna show you how to share your new video with the world. But first, let's take a look at effects, titles, and transitions. Okay, let's add some effects to our video. So open up the effects browser by clicking on this button right here or pressing Command-5 to open it up. Effects are organized into different categories and let's go down to stylize and scroll down. Let's find this one called Letterbox. Here it is. If I hover over it, I can see what effect that has on the video clip. All I have to do is just skim over it and I can see the changes made to the video clip. So I'm going to drag and drop that effect onto my clip and then I'll select my clip and open up the inspector. If I don't see it, I'll just click on this button with the three sliders. I'll go to the video inspector and under effects, I'll see the letterbox effect. I'll click show and I can make changes to that effect. There we go. Now it looks like an action movie. We can also add transitions. Click on the transition browser right here to open it up and go to the dissolve section here. Just drag and drop the transition in between your two clips. And now we have a nice cross dissolve as he's running through the forest. I can change the duration of a transition by clicking and dragging on the ends of it to make it even faster. Click on the title browser in the upper left hand corner and, and go to the build in and out category. Let's add this tracking title to our project. I'll drag and drop it to my timeline. And then I can move it around if I want in the timeline and I can also shorten it. I'll move my playhead where I want it to end and I'll press option right bracket to trim that title. Here's what that looks like. I'll select my title and then I'll click on the text in the viewer and it'll bring up the text inspector. Here I can change it. I can also change the font style and I can change the size. If we scroll down here to face and click show, I can change the color. All right, there you go. And then I can click on the text to move it around on screen. Let's see what that looks like. All right, our movie's looking pretty good, but we need to add some dramatic music. So let's go back to our browser and let's go to this event here. I have some music stored here and I'll open up my MP3 and I will select the music I wanna add and then I'm going to put my playhead all the way at the beginning of my video. And with my music selected, I'll press Q to attach it. Now I'll click in the timeline and press Shift Z to zoom out. And you can see all of our video here on the left and then the whole song. The song is way too long, so I'll move my playhead to the end of our video. With the music selected, I'll press Option, right bracket to trim it. And then I'll press Shift Z to zoom back to the entire project. Now we have some music in our project. Let's listen. All right, that's pretty intense music, but it's a little bit loud. So I can hover over this middle line in my music and I can drag it down or up to change the volume. I can also select my music and press Control plus and minus to change the volume one decibel at a time. There we go, that looks pretty good. Our video is ready to share with the world. So I'll go up here to the right hand corner and I'll click on this share button and then I'll select export file. I'll click on settings and I can change the format. I'm going to upload this to YouTube. So I'll select computer and then I'll change the video codec to better and I'll leave my resolution as is and I'll uncheck chapter markers and action after it saves. I just want it to be save only and then I'll click next to save it. I'll pick a spot on my computer where I want to save it and I'll name it and then I'll click save. Here's our video ready to share with the world. Okay, so now you've created a new video, you've shared it with the world, what next? I put together my top tips on how to make a slideshow in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.